So I believe this is where we were last time with all of the bits made or started to be made for the crank axle. So having made the bits of axle, cut them to length, I now need to turn the ends down to be a press fit into the webs. Unfortunately, my three jaw truck doesn't run true enough to ensure concentricity. So I'm going to do it in the four jaw. I'll have to spend a bit of time truing it up before I start machining. But yeah, that's what we're going to do. And a very sped up view of me setting up the uh, axle in the four drawer truck. So it's not quite perfect, but in fact, it's better than it was a minute ago. I will be happy with that just to prove it's not. There you go. So now I can turn the end down to be a press fit into the web, spin it round, do the same the other end. So I started off by facing off the bar, but found that the tool wasn't sharp, so annoyingly had to change the tool, after which it machined so much nicer. So that's the end machined down to size to be a press fit into the web and I've also punched a B into the end just to because it was the B crank which I used as the piece I'm mating it to. So when I do the other end it'll get a C stamped on it and it's because it's that piece there. So this is the second time I've put it in the chuck with having already done the other end. Um, I put it in, cleaned up the face, took it out to get an accurate measurement of the overall length, and I am 76 thou too long. Now, I've, so now I can clock it in and take off a measured 76 thou um, <clears throat> before I turn down the, the end. So yeah, I've Clocked it up again. That looks pretty good to me. Each one of these divisions is 0.1 of a 0 0.01 of a millimetre. So, so yeah, that's pretty good. Um, yeah. So now I'll I'll take off the 76, and we'll have a talk about how I do that as well. I'm now ready to take my 76 off. And what I've done. I've disengaged the gearbox, engaged the lead screw, set the lead screw to zero, taking out the backlash first, and then use the cross side to just touch against the, the face. So I can now use the dial on the lead screw to put in 76 there. Yeah, that's the next bit. So this is my method for getting the crank set square. Laid it on the table of the mill. So this crank is at this angle. The other crank is just started to be pushed onto the uh, stub. And, and then I do it roughly by eye, set it here, and then I can adjust with a big spanner um, until it's square and then I can finish 
finish pushing it onto the axle, by which time it won't be able to be moved. There we go. The one end has already been pressed on. Uh, I just need to look at the other end now. I've really got to apologise. I didn't take any video while I was pressing the bits together, but here's a few pictures just to show the different processes. Uh, it was tight. There was a lot of force on the ramps. And just a quick video, we spun it in the lathe to check how true it was running and it was pretty much spot on. Back in my workshop and it spins. When it catches every now and again, that's just because it's hitting the conrod. But obviously once the big end's on, it won't hit because it'll be kept inside it. So yeah, next job, wheels on. Same next job. I've actually decided that I will just pin these. Um, let me let me discuss why. I'll move over to the other end of the workshop. So what I'm going to do at this stage, the the web is too thin really for my liking to cross drill right through. You can weaken it so much. It's only six mil. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drill half in the web, half in the axle, and then drive a pin into that. That'll just give it a little bit of something else to stop it moving. It shouldn't move anyway, because it's such a good press fit. It took a lot of force on that ram to, to drive them home. But let's see. So I've got some 332 stainless rod. Can't really see it, it's not focusing. Uh, but I've drilled a, a number 43 hole, which is just a slightly under. Um, I'm going to try it first before drilling into the web, but just a trial hole and we'll see how that goes. So I've found the chuck and put it back on the lathe, uh, cleaned up the end of the rod, filed it flat, put a slight angle on it so it would lead into the hole, uh, pulled it out, I just nibbled it off with some cutters. Moved over to my test piece and hammered it in and it's gone in pretty well and pretty tight. So I think I may go with that. Um, yeah. And so having driven those pins right in hard, I'll now just chop them off, file it flush and then chop the good one. And there it is. In place. Thanks for watching, hope you learned something, um, hope you've understood what I've done and next time we will, next time we're on this engine we'll be quartering the wheels and pressing them on. Um, that will be done down at the dad's house uh, as the pressing was done today, or in this video, it was actually yesterday that I did the pressing. Um, and yeah, I hope you've enjoyed and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye.